first of all, we're going to start with the fact that there's this old plane here. I find it awesome. I have this fascination with planes and trains and boats and stuff, um, especially military things. Um, but I guess it was a practice plane for the fire service. I believe after World War II, World War One, um, and it was the central airport for Berlin for a long time. I believe during World War Two, then it was used primarily as a um, as a military airport. Um, military planes, fighters, etc., came in and out here. I believe too then that this might have been used as the place where during the blockade of Berlin after World War II, um, the Berlin airlift in the 50s. Um, Berlin was blockaded for a while and uh, because the Russians were trying to get the Americans and the British and French to leave Berlin and give up their half of Berlin. Um, so the people were blockaded and the only way they were able to get food was because the US came in airplanes and dropped food and I I'm not positive don't quote me on this again but it might have been here at Temple Hope so yeah Berlin's history just piles on top of each other I find it absolutely fascinating and over here through the trees you can't really see it but on the building it says US Army Aviation so yeah but then again this airport was also in use until 2008 when it was closed and Schoenefeld and Tegel became the two main airports in Berlin, but um, Tegel and Schoenfeld kind of suck. And there's reason there's two of them is because Berlin was a divided city for so long. Schoenfeld was in East Berlin and Tegel was in West Berlin. I'm not really sure where Tempelhof was. I think it was in the East, but I'm not positive. If there's a thing that still says U.S. Army Aviation, though, it must have been in the West. So, yes. 